Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my weekly update. We are on week 10. Can you believe that? Give this video a thumbs up if I should keep doing these updates because I love doing them and I don't know, it just kind of gives you a realistic way of like losing weight and getting fit rather than just like seeing these like crazy transformations. I think I'm gonna keep doing them. If you also wanna keep up with my journey and everything, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram because I also post on Instagram. And then I'm just gonna plug in my TikTok because I've been making TikToks, they're so much fun. Starting off like normal, I'm just gonna go through my workout week. Starting off Saturday, the 21st of March, I did the 30 minute workout with the arm workout. And I think in some of these, my mom is doing the arm workouts and it's <laughs> kind of funny, but she likes doing the arm workouts cause she has some extra weight there. And the workout is pretty challenging for her. Sunday, the 22nd of March, I did the 15 minute workout, the ab workout and the arm workout. I chose to do both the ab and the arm workouts, I think because my schedule was a little off, but that's okay. Monday, the 23rd of March, I did the 45 minute workout and I tried the 11 ab workout by Chloe Ting. And I'll speak more about this during the update part, but whoo, man, that was a killer. I was really happy that I completed that and enjoyed the little time lapse here. There is nothing for Tuesday because I don't work out on Tuesdays. Wednesday, March 25th, I did the 15 minute workout because it is a work day. I am working at home. I'm very lucky that I get to do my job from home during this time, just my normal hours. And then after that, I did my workout. So that's why I only did the 15 minute workout and I did the 11 abs, oh man. And then on Friday today, the 27th, I did the 30 minute workout with the arms because I had done like ab workouts three times and I try to like match it with the arms so it's just kind of even. If you guys couldn't tell, I'm most self-conscious about my arms and like my shoulders. I don't know why and my stomach area. My legs are fine. They've always been super muscular and I haven't really worried about them. So when I do the full body workouts, my legs get totally worked out. So I don't feel the need to do like lower body workouts, if you know what I mean, because my legs are just so strong. And honestly, I like the way my legs look. So moving on to the updates. The first update I wrote down was mac and cheese. So there are these cute little, um, cup-sized Stouffer's mac and cheeses. Is cheeses even a word? I ate one of those with green beans. It was so good, guys. I am so bad, but I had that because there's not a lot to eat around this time period because everyone's just stocking up and everything, but I was lucky to find these little tiny cups. So it's portion control, but I'm still like eating something yummy. But after I ate that, I felt super bloated and I was like, oh my gosh, it really does affect, like whatever you put in your body really affects you. Um, and that's definitely something that I wrote down. So this is leading into my next point. You feel different after you eat certain foods. So after I eat the salmon and kale with asparagus, oh my gosh, I feel so energetic and like full of life. And I feel like it's because I'm eating a lot of like plant vegetables. But then again, when I eat pizza or macaroni and cheese, I just feel so heavy and tired. There's definitely a change when you eat certain foods, like the way you feel in your body. And then my next point is the 11 ab workout. Oh my gosh, this is definitely for advanced. I don't recommend the 11 ab workout challenge or whatever if you're just starting to like work out. Um, I've been just doing the flat belly challenge the two week challenge. I've been, obviously been doing a lot longer than that um, because I'm on week 10 now, but I recommend you do the flat belly challenge. And then once you feel stronger and up to the challenge, then move on to the 11 abs because it is so hard. Like I can't get through the workout really. Um, I mean, I get through it, but I mean like I'll have to stop and take a break. I get a little tired. You have to be very, very strong. So I highly recommend that um, if you want to push yourself to the limits. I also had this kind girl reach out to me and she was telling me kind of like her journey about everything. Thing, and I'm not gonna like get into it because I don't know if she wants her business like spewed out, but it was so nice 
getting to kind of like talk to you. If you guys do want to talk to me or anything, just DM me on Instagram and we can just be there for one another. Kind of like Chloe Ting says, really just go at your own rate and um, just have fun in the journey. So I just want to say thank you for reaching out to me. It was so cool like getting to talk to you and I'm so happy that I've inspired some of you guys to do it. And I'm gonna just let you know, I'm gonna pig out on Sunday because we're having hot dog night with chips and dip. So I'll make sure to vlog that because I also vlog on this channel if you didn't know. You should like subscribe and yeah. I think that's about it for the updates. Not too much has happened. Um, Again, it's week 10. So if you guys like completely stop watching, I want to say that Chloe Ting's workouts do work. Um, just keep consistent and push through and eat well. Her workouts do work. Um, and if you're only going to do the workouts two weeks or three weeks, just so you know, once you stop, you're going to gain all that weight back and plus more probably because your body gets used to a certain level of physical activity once you start something. So just know you should keep consistent with it, even if you've you know, gotten to your goal, try to maintain that. I just don't want anyone to like do this and be like, yeah, I feel good. And then the two weeks is over and then they just randomly stop. And then you're like, ooh, I'm like fat again. <laughs> but anyway, let's just get on to the pictures because I know that's why you guys are all here. So on the left is Alex last week and on the right is Alex this week. This is the front view. I'm not flexing or I am flexing, but you can't really tell on the right hand side. So that's awkward. But anyway, to the side view, this is Alex on the left is last week and Alex on the right is this week. Not a huge difference, but again, we're going week by week and um, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say about that. And moving on to the very drastic different photos. The one on the left is Alex pre-workout and then Alex on the right is now. Then here's the side view of that, Alex pre-workout on the left and Alex now on the right. And those, my friends, are the pictures. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you are inspired, motivated, or want to see these updates continue. I really like doing them and I actually honestly don't think I'm gonna stop because it really keeps me accountable for working out and I love updating you guys and getting you all inspired. But if I get a lot of responses like, ew, no, you don't wanna see it, then maybe I won't do it. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on my social media and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.